What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the pod. I'm your host. Let's get at it right now. I'm talking about Ice Cube right now. And um, this situation really um, caught me off guard. I had a chance to, uh, when I heard about this, I had a chance to uh, look at his Instagram. And uh, Ice Cube left a message. And I think it's a message that we've all known is the fact. Let's keep this in mind that Ice Cube has been an icon within the black community in terms of his music, legacy, uh, all the things he's been doing as an entrepreneur, working in films like Friday. Uh, he's been involved in the Big Three, which is a summer basketball lead. And a few years ago, uh, I believe it was during the election when Joe Biden got elected. Ice Cube had a decoration of a contract with black people. He took a lot of criticism because there were people that thought because the Trump administration were interested in his contract with black America, that somehow he was a um, mega hat wear. And you saw people making fun of Ice Cube with these means and things of that nature. Another thing is um, you had the Democratic Party. He created a plan for both Democrats and Republicans to see who would bite on it. Of course, the Democrats or the Democrats lied and said that they would get back to him, but they had to win the election. They never got back to Ice Cube. Then there was this rumor that Ice Cube was buddy-buddy with Trump. That wasn't true. Ice Cube himself said he never met Trump. And of course, they were interested in his contract with black America, but the Republicans didn't do anything with it at all because both these political parties are one in the same, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ice Cube has said since that it seems like he's been um, sort of marginalized in the entertainment industry since introducing the contract with black America. And I'm going to get to that audio, with that, that to that video very soon. I want y'all to, because he went on his Instagram and exposed some things and saying that he's not a part of the club. That there are gatekeepers. We've heard this before, that there are gatekeepers that are controlling the entertainment industry. They are doing things to impact him. Now, he even said that the NBA has been effing with the big three lead. And I said to myself, why would the NBA need to do something like this when the big three is simply a summer basketball lead for retired basketball players, guys that used to play in the NFL? Excuse me. Why would that be a threat to the NBA? And I see why it's a threat because you have a lead that's being managed by Ice Cube, a black man that's getting a lot of attention. But Ice Cube said that the NBA has been effing with the big three. And he says he doesn't really give a damn about the NBA. He's more concerned about the fact that they need to stop doing things to undermine the big three. He also said that the mainstream media has sort of ghosted the big three lead. And he says he doesn't really care because we're still doing things big and that the mainstream media is not going to stop what Ice Cube is trying to do uh, in his attempt to be successful. But he notices that every since he introduced that, and that goes, that shows you right there that America does not love black people. America is a racist place, whether you want to believe that or not. Because he introduced a contract for black America, like every other group in this country, they introduce something that they want for their votes. Every group, Asians, Latinos, white people, everybody wants something for their vote. But as soon as black people say that we want something for our vote, now there's all these problems. And so Ice Cube said he's gotten these problems ever since introducing his contract with black America. Also, he's even taken criticism from his own community. Remember when ice cube went on, uh, what was that? Fox 
soul with Vivica Fox and her friends over there. And they were he was basically saying that the contract for black America would help all black Americans. But they were so concerned about, well, what is it for? What is the contract for black women? And Ice Cube repeated. It's called a contract for black Americans. The truth of the matter is, aren't black women black? So therefore, his contract would be for their benefit as well. So he took all types of uh, criticism, people saying all sort of things. And um, he said that, that they've been messing with him ever since he came out with that. Let me go ahead and let you hear what Ice Cube himself had to say about this situation. I thought this was uh, powerful. It's about a three, three minute and 50 second uh, clip. Uh, it was raw. He kept it real. He's saying, hey, we're going to still do our thing, but they're messing with me, folks. He says, I'm not a part of that special club and you're not a part of that special club. And there's gatekeepers. And he basically said the F F with the F with the gatekeepers. And matter of fact, I'm going to go on a podcast tour and tell everybody about how I feel about these damn gatekeepers. And of course, I think Phil of the Phil Scott came out with a podcast and I watched that. Shout out to that brother. He said, hey, who do you think he's talking about? Well, uh, yes, Hollywood is run by liberals, Democrats, what have you. But don't get it twisted. Conservatives also have their foothold in entertainment, radio and all these different mediums out here. Both these groups, I think both groups are in control of the gates. Let's go ahead and hear Ice Cube right now. Homeboy Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club. That pisses them off. Facts. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are. And they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. So ever since, ever since I put out the contract with Black America, you know they've been fucking with me. Here and there, this and that. But it's cool, you know. Right there, <laughs> folks. I expect. Let me stop that right there. Just like he said, he said every time he, every since he came out with the contract with Black America, they've been effing with Ice Cube. You hear what he said? That's the story of most Black men, Black people in America. And that's been the story for Black people historically in this country. That whenever we try to be independent and venture out to do our own thing, spread our own wings. There'll be someone out there that try to stop us. Now, here is a man who is, has money, has had success, has pulled up his bootstraps, as some of you out there would say, and he's still running into loopholes and bullshit. Ice Cube is confirming what we all have known. Let's continue. Dad. Um, you know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time and you know how they've been fucking with me with that. I done made it, you know, plain, simple and clear what they've been doing. You know, the NBA been fucking with us. Now, a lot of people. I want to stop it right there. Did you hear what Ice Cube just said? He said the NBA has been effing with them. See, when you don't want to play ball, when you don't want to do what the system wants you to do, they'll do everything they can to stop you. 
and I'm going to say this again. This is both a combination of Republicans that control stuff in this country and Democrats. you got the Republican clan and the Democrats. Both of them are the same bird of two wings that try to screw us over. You see, the, Dem the Democrats or the Democrats, as I said, they paid Ice Cube no mind after getting elected to look at the plan for black people. That shows you right now, black people who vote Democrat, the Democrats don't care about us. This man had a plan and they didn't even go back to him to work out the plan with him. They lied to him and said, let us get elected. But Joe Biden gets elected after, you know, Mr. If you ain't black, if you don't vote for me, Joe Biden. <laughs> right. And even the Republican Klan didn't do anything. But then, of course, they didn't get elected. They didn't get elected. I get it. Ice Cube said himself in interviews that he never met with Donald Trump to discuss that contract. Like it was people in his administration that he had conversation with. I just want to emphasize that. So this whole thing about there's a system, there's gatekeepers, there's people who control your access to money, success, to opportunity. It's real. Ice Cube has been in entertainment for a long time, and he's revealing some things to us. You might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So but we don't need them. You don't need them. As you can see, Ice Cube is saying that mainstream media, as I had mentioned before, has turned a their back on ice cube and what he's trying to do this is what happens people always say hey uh black people get education pull yourself up by your bootstrap get out there and work hard if you just work hard and do all the right things you won't have to worry about racism biases and all of that this is bs here you have ice cube who has a legitimate resume of success and look at what he's going through so that shows you I'm going to keep it real. Race is a factor in what's happening to him. And those that control the gates don't look like us. And even those who appear to look like us that control some of those gates, we know that they are the raccoons that have been trying to hold us back all the way going back to the plantation when they told the so-called master that's where they're escaping. Damn shame. Let's get back to this. You know, so... What am I going to do to deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers? Well, what I'm going to do is go on a fuck the gatekeepers podcast tour. And I'm going to talk to everybody, everybody, you know, and get a chance to get my message out to the people. Um, be able to let people hear from me, you know, and and, you know, you might agree, you might not. But the, the important thing is, you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know, some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy summer. It's gonna be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully, I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as fuck in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy, Ice Cube. Remember that. All right. Ice Cube, what's up? Uh, there it is, folks. Ice Cube telling the truth and shaming the devil. Says he's going to go on that tour all this summer. 
and expose some of the BS that he's been dealing with. I'm going, I'm very excited to be able to hear the details that he's probably going to go into on these podcasts that he's, I wish he was on my podcast. to Give me some of this information, but I think he's going to expose a lot and I can't wait to see him speak on podcasts. I want to record some of this stuff so that I can uh, bring this to you as well. But this is, this is interesting to see how in depth ice cube will go with telling us how the system really works. That's what I'm really interested in to see how evil, how evil, how far the rabbit hole goes. And this is key. This is very, 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 very key. Ice Cube said that all of these problems begin to happen when he simply came out with a plan and a contract for black America. A black man of his caliber comes out with a plan for black America and now he's paying the price for wanting something for his people. This is a, how can I say it? A damn shame. Tell the truth. With that said, everybody, you've been listening to the pod. I'll be back with more presentation. Y'all take care. Peace.